Every beginner and intermediate drummer wants to learn those next level fills that fly around the kit. But the problem is when you go on YouTube and search for more advanced drum fill lessons, you end up getting a bunch of stuff that's way too difficult. And as a result, a lot of people get discouraged and just go back to those same old basic fills that they're used to. And this is one of the big problems with trying to learn the drums on YouTube. There's just so much noise out there that it becomes very difficult to know where to start and what steps to take to progress. So. Today, I wanna to do my best to remedy that in the realm of drum fills. I wanna take the foundation that we laid down in our last lesson where we learned the fundamentals of playing drum fills and share with you the next and most practical step to level up those basic fills. And that next step is adding in the bass drum. Adding in the bass drum gives your fills punch and depth. It makes them sound more complicated than they actually are. It allows you to move around the kit faster and easier because it frees your hands up. And best of all, you can incorporate the kick into those meat and potatoes fills that you already have down. So it's a very natural progression forward into more complex fills without being so advanced that beginners and intermediate players can't handle them. So if you're ready to take your fills to the next level, stick around. I'm gonna break this method down for you, show you the best way to practice it and give you a bunch of example fills to have some fun with. Let's get into it. All right, as I mentioned, this lesson is a continuation from our last lesson where we learned drum fill fundamentals. And in that lesson, we set a foundation by learning the most common way that the masters approach playing fills. And that's by using simple alternating strokes. Just right, left, right, left. And I showed you how by removing different notes within that grid, you can create a wide variety of patterns. And we learned how to spice those patterns up by moving them around the kit. And to take things a step further today, we're gonna use that exact same framework, but we're gonna put the bass drum in the cracks. Now these kinds of fills that slot the bass drum into the cracks are often called linear fills because no two notes hit at the same time. It's just one single stream of notes with no overlapping. And one very important thing to bear in mind as you work on these patterns is that the placement of the right and left hands never shift. The right is always on the downbeats and upbeats and the left is always on the E's and the U's. This is far and away the most practical way to play because it allows you to pull off a ton of different combinations, all with one very simple and straightforward approach. So pay close attention to these stickings as we continue into the abyss. Now, before you dive straight into playing some of these linear fills, I wanna highly recommend that you practice some basic independence exercises. These exercises allow you to iron out the relationship between your hands and your feet and to develop that muscle memory necessary to playing these fills smoothly. You can start with simple patterns like these. When you start to feel more comfortable, you can graduate onto some more complex patterns like these. If you're unable to play these exercises, then you're definitely gonna have trouble with these fills. So give them the time that they deserve. And when they start to feel comfortable and they're flowing, 
then it's fill time. So let's have some fun. I'm gonna share with you a bunch of examples that'll get your creative juices flowing. And if these examples start to go by just a little bit too quickly, no worries at all. I'll have transcriptions and practice loops for well over a hundred of these exercises and fills linked in the description box. And you can use those practice loops to slow down and speed up the fills and work at your own pace at home. So let's get to it, starting with some two beat fills. Ah, did you catch that? I added a flam on the end of the last one. That's a very popular rudiment to throw into this linear style of fills. They add a bit of power and a bit of flavor, and they're really not tricky to pull off if you work on them for just a little bit, so try them out. Now let's take things a bit further and try out some four beat fills. Hey, not bad, right? To make these fills groove even harder, we can start them in sneakier parts of the measure. For instance, here are a few fills that start on the and of three. Now let's try some that start on the and of two. And finally, let's try a few that start on the and of one. So as you can hear, these fills are starting to sound a lot more complicated than they actually are. And this is only the beginning. As you progress, you can start to speed things up a bit. You can add doubles on the bass drum to get even more power and even more combinations. You can work in some more complicated patterns. And in time, you can of course use those more advanced stickings that you see all over the internet. But it all starts right here with getting the fundamentals down and then working the kick into that straightforward approach. All right, that's gonna do it for this one, everybody. I really hope that you enjoyed it. As I mentioned, I'll have transcriptions and practice loops for a ton of these exercises and fills linked in the description box below if you wanna shed over these at home. Thanks as always for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. You take it easy. Bye-bye.